with Caitlin and Will, brand new artist. First single isn't really even out yet, so here you are at the ACM Awards, and you're, and you're doing the radio remotes and talking to guys like me. Um, what 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 is this week? And I know we're only day one into about four days. Yeah. What's uh, what's it like for you? What are you thinking about? What are the things you're going to be doing? What's it through your eyes? Unlike anything we've ever done before, like Will and I are very very. Um, in the moment, people, you know, we Definitely. don't try to look too far ahead. We don't really look in the past, but we're always present, you know, and that's what Naomi Judd told us, and we never forgot that. Always be She present. always said, look around whenever, like, in events like this right here, look around, take it all in. She said because there was so many times that if she hadn't have done that, you know, she's got so many good memories to look back yeah. on. And I was glad she said that because we have done that. You know, they're talking about Naomi Judd. There are a number of artists who have told me in the past that Naomi has given them either like a journal or a video camera and said, keep track of yeah. these early days because they're going to happen pretty that fast. That sounds like Naomi. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's an amazing and, woman. So yeah. what are, you know, for a brand new artist, what are some of the uh, other duties that you're going to uh, have to be involved in this uh, ACM week? I think this is it for us right now. Yeah, right here. Just these interviews done. and yeah. trying, to, trying to talk to all the radio guys and tell them that that record is coming. Yeah. That's right. So tell us about the single. The single is called Address in the Stars. It's about my aunt, um, Lisa, who passed away uh, of breast cancer in 2006. And uh, my family is very, very close-knit, and um, it ruined my world, uh, still is today, but um, I was able to put all my pain and frustration and, and everything that I was feeling into a song and with um, I had the pleasure of writing with Chris Lindsay our producer and Amy Mayo one of the judges on Can You Duet and uh, Hillary Lindsay who's my favorite songwriter ever um, and I was just you know we didn't have the intention of writing about my aunt or you know writing about the loss of a loved one but it just came out that way so